Sorry, I'm interrupting. Is he interrupting? He's allowed to. <clears throat> ah, I'm doing the rounds, inviting people to drinks. Drinks? Yeah, just to getting to know everyone, sort of thing. You can be Rachel's plus one, if you like. Happy to. Great. See you both later. I'm fit. I have a spin class every week. I do Pilates. I watch what I eat. Does that make any difference? <laughs> no way. I've still got this tummy. I know the feeling. I've had three kids too. It's not fair, is it? It certainly isn't. <laughs> Honestly, before I had my kids, I had the flattest stomach you've ever seen. Well, you want that stomach back. You're thinking a tummy tuck. Yes. Well, we can help you with that. How about you hop up on the bed and we'll take a look? Thanks, Drew. I'll talk it over with my husband and get back to you. Excellent. It's good to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks for being so supportive. I felt really shallow and vain even coming here. But you want to feel good about yourself. We all do, and I totally get that. There is nothing wrong with giving the self-esteem a wee jump start. You think? Oh, I know. Look, all my kids are off my hands now, so I've gone back to studying, and it is the best thing I've ever done. Good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. You're a natural. Well done. I'm really enjoying the work, actually. So it's not just my sparkling personality and all-round good looks? Well, it's different to what I'm used to, but I'm loving the challenge. Excellent. I think we make a pretty good team, you and I. It's up to you, of course. He asked you to talk to me, didn't he? Yes. He's so cheeky. Drew is cheeky. I know he's not everyone's cup of tea, but he's very good at what he does. He wants his clinic to be the best, and he'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. And for what it's worth, I think you'll learn heaps working with him. Yeah, but why does he actually want me? It doesn't seem like it's because of my nursing abilities. Of course, good looks of the staff are a plus in his business, but you're seriously underestimating him if you think he's not aware of the fact that he'll get a very fine nurse. <laughs> I hear it was a success. Nice work. Yeah, thank you. Now the offers will flood in. Stardom, big bucks, speaking to us. Oh, I don't think so. Are you taking a break? Who's this lovely woman? Uh, Victoria Anderton. I'm Drew McCaskill. Hi. Do you work here? Yes. I'm surprised we haven't met already. You're a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm boy's surgical registrar. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. I hope you'll forgive me and join us at the Ivy later. Drinks are on me. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll be back shortly. Hey, you can't want them all. Lucky you. That was spectacularly offensive. Is everything okay? It all looks just great. Thank you. The end, please. Evening. Evening. Champagne. Oh, lovely. Did I mention how much I enjoyed working with you today? I think you did, yes. But you can feel free to say it again. Flattery is a wonderful thing, don't you think? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So when's DK getting back? No idea. It lives fine. I'm still pretty upset about everything, so... Mm, TK's busy being the man, and all he wants is to be with you. Is that guy going to take a break? Yeah. And why is Panya not down there? Well, she and Caleb have split up, huh? so I guess it's it's awkward. Uh, um, uh, thanks for coming, everyone. I'm Drew McCaskill, the new face on the block. Just to let you all know, my surgical centre is now open for business, and... I'm very happy to announce a new appointment. Joining the team as clinical coordinator will be Kylie Brown. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Enjoy. When did you apply for the job? I didn't. Drew off it to me. Now you've made the leap, you'll be looking forward to the new job? Yeah, I am actually. As long as you keep it totally professional. And remember that the only person I will be flirting with is my boyfriend. Deal? Cool. Man, I feel sick. Why? Because Winnie wanted the job that you've got. What? Yeah, I was supposed to put in a good word for her with Drew, but I forgot. Winnie, that's terrible! Well, she might end up with the job anyway. If she wants it that bad, I'm not taking any of her sex. It's rubbish. Well, if you feel like that, why do it? Oh, Rachel talked me into it. And the money's amazing, so... Amazing, like? Like an extra 15 or so around a year. 
I don't need to buy any drinks. Really? I could have sworn we made a date to meet here after work. No, we didn't. But anyway, since we are here, let's talk about today so we both know where we stand. I'm not sure what you mean. You, checking up on me all day like I had no idea how to do my own job. Oh, that. Not your best friend in the world, huh? No. Professional disagreement? It's personal, but it's not something we can live at the door. Uh, that explains a lot. Pani and nabbed me today for some friendly startling advice. She stopped short of saying you were a danger to patients. And you believed her? No. I trust my instincts. But I had to be sure you knew your stuff. And thankfully, after today, I know I have nothing to worry about. And neither do you. So, don't give Pani Stevens another thought. Hi, Robin. I'm Drew McCaskill. Hi. Please. You've met Kylie, obviously. Are you happy for Kylie to sit in on this consult? Yes, right. Great. Uh, right, you're here to talk about an abdominoplasty, is that right? A what? A tummy tuck. Certainly not. Why would I want one of those? I'm very sorry. You are Robin Carter, born 7th of March 1968? Yes, but I'm here to talk about the bags under my eyes. There is nothing wrong with my stomach. I do apologise, there's been a clerical error, obviously. Would you excuse us for just one moment? I don't know how that happened. I put the stickers on myself, I double-checked everything. Well, triple-check next time. Now, could you go get me Robin's details, please? The right ones this time. I just sought out Robin Carter's theatre booking myself. Uh, just something I to follow up on. So Robin decides to go ahead then? Once I subtly reminded her that I am the very best, despite evidence to the contrary. What happened there? The ID stickers got mixed up. You were looking at Mr Shaw's notes. Mixed up how? You said you did it yourself and I know how thorough you are. All I can say is it won't happen again. I swear to you it won't. Okay. I believe I was meant to have a coffee with Pania Stevens today too. Guilty. She left a note and I didn't pass it on. And by the time she caught up with me, my day was fully booked. I didn't even have to invent an excuse, so I should thank you for that. Does that mean I'm, I might be able to stay on? It does. Though I'd really like to know how today's mix-up happened. Oh, I just didn't keep a close enough eye on things, that's all. I, I will from now on. Me too. Anything else? No, I'll be heading off soon. It's moving day. Okay. Well, I will tidy up the files then and make sure everything's in order. That sounds like an excellent idea. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me. Friend? What are you doing here? I heard the car alarm. I came to investigate. Came, came from where? Why are you creeping around? I live here. I've just moved into one of the apartments. I told... No, you didn't tell me. You said it was moving day. You didn't say where. I was sure I did. Anyway, why are you so jumpy? I thought this was a safe neighbourhood. Yes, it is a safe neighbourhood. I just and I came to check my car. I thought I thought I heard something. Some one. Where? Just forget it. It's probably just my imagination playing tricks on me. <gasps> it's a vivid imagination. You're really freaked out. Well, I'm I'm okay now. You're home alone right now, aren't you? Yeah, uh, for a few more days. How about you come to mine for a bit? Have a glass of wine and some takeout. Everything's in boxes, I'm afraid, so it's the best I can offer. Look, I, I don't want to get in your way. The boxes are in the way. You will be a welcome distraction. In fact, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come on. You didn't have to come back here with me. I'm fine. Just making sure. Nice place. It's exactly the same as yours. But with a woman's touch. No boxes. Mm. Have you got a daughter? A TK does. Her name's Tilly. That's weird. What is? This doll is usually with the other toys. You think it's been moved? How 
could it have been? I mean, the whole place has been locked up. I must just have not noticed it when I left. Do you want me to go upstairs and check anyway, make sure everything's secure? You seem pretty jumpy. You must think I'm mad. Not at all. You got a fright, the car alarm, me sneaking up on you. Yeah, I did. If there was something else going on, you would tell me. Honestly, there's, there's nothing. Right. Well, you've got my number. If anything goes bump in the night, you'll call me, yeah? Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, I'll just go upstairs and check everything, and then I'll leave you to it. Hey, thank you for this, for, for dinner and everything. Okay. Anytime. Mm. Morning. Hey. How was last night? All quiet? Yes. Great. So you're on the ball for today? Yeah, totally. Good. We've got Robin Carter back in. Really? What for? Well, she's having doubts about the surgery and wants another consult. And she's willing to pay, so... OK, uh, what time's she coming in? 15 minutes. I managed to slot her in. Seemed like the right thing to do. OK, I will check her notes, just to be sure. OK. Have you heard about this party Rachel's throwing to schmooze potential investors? No. Well, she is at the Warner McKenna Ranch. I think we both should be there. What, me, really? Well, you're my lovely assistant. Sorry, to I see. As good as. Anyway, I value your input. It's not a problem, is it? No, no, I would love to be there. Thank you for asking me. Good morning, Robin. Please sit down. I'm sorry to be a bother, but I just started to worry. I mean, you only get one pair of eyes, don't you? Oh, you absolutely do. And I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. You said I could look at some pictures before and after of other people who have had their eyes done? Yes, of course. Kylie's got those pictures right here. Kylie. Other photos for Robin. Is she the nurse who'll be looking after me? Uh, she is, yes, and she's very, very good, I promise you. Kylie, what's wrong with you? Kylie. <laughs> is she sick? <clears throat> is it that awful flu? No, it's not. I'm sure it's not. I knew I was having doubts for a reason. This place is unsafe. I'm leaving. Robin, Robin, if you just wait a minute. I cancel my booking. I won't be back. out in the consult with Robin Carter. What? Why? Well, we've got no idea. Were you feeling sick? Did you have a headache? Any sign of illness? No. Oh, man. What's happening? I feel like I've been drugged. Have you taken something? No. The last thing I remember clearly was finishing my energy drink. Well, that was over two hours ago. Have they taken bloods? Mm-hmm. The usual. What about a top screen? No. Why would they? I think I've been drugged. I'm sure of it, and I didn't do it. Well, then, who did? Don't believe me. I have no evidence. Well, you'd better try and convince me, Kylie. Because right now your job's on the line, along with my reputation. She did it. She spiked my drink. You sure about that? Yes. She used to have a key to my apartment. She must still have one. That's how she got in. And my drink was in my bag on the table. Okay. I know women can act crazy, but killing her husband, trying to get rid of you, you have to admit it's pretty out there. You say you don't believe me. Hey, Kylie. Are you all right? I heard you are in ED. And you know the reason why. Well, I know what people are saying. Something about drugs. What were you hoping? That I'd take a swig of my drink and get behind the wheel? Were you fantasizing that it would be the last time you'd ever hear from me? I'm sorry, but whatever drugs you took... I didn't take anything! Whatever drugs were given to you, it had nothing to do with me. And if you're worried about someone spiking your drink, maybe you should think about who you hang out with. 